every race and no matter what race it is, no matter how many people are in the race, no matter what country I'm in, what course it is, every time I'm on that start line, I'm nervous. Before a race, I like to listen to my headphones, listen to music. I'm not very talkative, I'm in my own bubble and then I was just getting closer and closer to my start times and my bib number ready to go. Get really nervous and compose myself, I do lots of self talk, tell myself I can do it. And when I'm still on the start line, I'm at like maximum nerves. When I'm skiing on the course, I just think about that time. I don't think about anything else, just think about what am I doing with my skis, my technique. Am I pushing myself too hard? I look at my watch, look at my heart rate, think about the next corner, think about. Yeah, I'm always thinking about a bit ahead, but thinking about what, I'm, what my body's doing and what my head's doing at that certain point. As you come over the finish line, it's obviously not too nice because you're absolutely hanging, but then once you've settled down a bit and your teammates have said well done and you've had a drink, then yeah, it's a brilliant feeling. You feel like you've put some hard work in, which is nice. I think just the passion for the sport and I've all, always been a competitive person, always loved racing, always been into sport and that's what gives me the drive. I think it's just from when I was a youngster. I think Nordic skiing and biathlon takes a lot of discipline, a lot of physical strength and a lot of mental strength. It's, I think most soldier attributes, every attribute a sol soldier should have is brilliant. It really combines well with biathlon and Nordic skiing. If I didn't have a sport from the Army, the RLC, definitely wouldn't have been where I, where I am now. Just skiing like internationally and the support has really helped. 